be Miriam. <laughs> My people, <laughs> they say Wahala no go grief finish. So Miriam is proving to everybody who cares to know or who is following this matter that she's not the type that backs down easily. Yeah, she cannot back off that easily. So she would put up a wall, she would fight, she would do whatsoever it is that she wants to do. But the last time someone tried fighting on this matter like this, we saw how it went down. Oluria de Ronke. We saw how it has been with her. Nobody even replied her. Neither did anybody even have a concern with what Oluria Deronke feels or she has to say. Because countless times, over and over, it has been stated to this woman that there are boundaries, there are laws, there are things that you ought to respect. And what your king wants should certainly be what you want. King Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. But the Bible did not record the incidents where he had crisis or he had all of this puzzle in his house. Or did the Bible choose to leave all of those parts because we don't need them then to record the parts that we need to now I'm going to leave her for another day, my people. But today we are on the opinion of Miriam attacking the only live in the palace. In fact, she's blast, she's blasting, she's bashing every single thing she feels because the only have chosen to divorce them over Oluri Naomi. And the next thing now we might hear is. All of these Oluris have received a restriction not to enter the palace again. And everybody will be like, ah, is that not harsh? Because when Toby was thrown out of the palace by the royal guards, we heard how um, different sort of comments came in. Everybody was like, ah, the one is taking this thing too personal. At the end, all of these women are his wives. If he didn't love them, then he would not have gone to the extent of getting married to them. <laughs> but see... Even if you buy something, there are some points where the thing they over you and you might want to replace it or you might want to completely do away with it. So nobody will force the owner to keep entitled women simply because he paid their dowry or he got married to them. Because what Miriam is currently doing in the palace right now is because she was given a chance to enter the palace. So she feels she has the leverage and she feels she is still on that level of connection with the owner that she knows she can enter the palace and um, do whatsoever it is that she wants to she wants to do and then she would go scot-free so over time it has been known in fact it has been an obvious thing that Oluri Miriam has just been one person who retaliates to everything that happens in the palace this woman she responds to technically everything when Naomi goes on a date with the only it is Miriam that will react yes because when um, it was Teddy Nikawa's birthday we saw how the extent to which she went to make sure that she would um, vandalize every single thing in the palace everything that was at her disposal she made sure she tore it apart so so right now so Miriam has still entered the palace and all she is doing is to destroy, scatter and you know this time around she has come in a different dimension. Yes, because she coming straight at the only only proves that these women are capable of any single thing and they are not willing to stop anytime soon. Yes, because with all that has happened over time, we believe that these women would put some respect to the owner's name but she has come at the only once again with uh, according to her the only has ignored her in fact he wants to divorce them simply because he wants to bring oluri naomi back and she is on an opinion that the only can bring oluri naomi back yet their lives will not be shattered nor scattered in the palace and hmm, the only doesn't want it so the only has gradually guided these women to their downfall. That's what they don't know. The only watched them portray their character, watched them do whatsoever it is they want to do. He watched them um, manifest all of the symptoms. And now the man is holding strongly onto it to do what he wants to do. So it remains on their own part 
to do their own bidding because right now right now whatsoever miriam is saying even if it carries a truth in it it cannot be used because miriam has failed on several occasions miriam has done a lot of things that should not be done miriam has gotten involved in things that she should not have gotten involved in and certainly certainly these are things that she shouldn't be involving herself in if we want to go back but date every single thing how miriam has fought naomi how miriam has done this how miriam have done that you will discover that miriam has ruined a lot of things for herself yes she has she has ruined a lot of things for herself and gradually gradually you will discover that no matter what it is now all she is doing again are just a big setback for her because coming into the palace to confront the only of ife is still another thing that she should not have thought of look at what happened the last time toby phillips tried this kind of pulling this kind of stunt she was thrown out of the palace by the palace guards so so definitely this woman cannot keep on disrespecting the only for all the in fact for, for their own selfish reasons because as time proceeds this man is not just their husband he's a father to many he's a king to a nation so gradually gradually you will come to discover that their disrespect is speaking too much that one can never imagine because all of these things put together all of these things put together you would come to understand that this woman have lost a sense of track of an of track of time and every single thing that is ought to be done right now they are just doing the things they feel that they should do in order to please themselves yes because no matter who is telling this woman that ah, what you are doing is great to and keep on doing it that person is strongly and big in fact is a big lie it's a big lie but they don't know they don't know so at this point oh my people this is a point where miriam has gotten herself into this is the extent she has she has dragged herself to and no matter what happens at the end of the day you will come to understand you will come to discover that it is not by what you feel it is by the rights that exist in a community and you ought to favor for to follow it remember when naomi came back into the palace that day they were celebrating all the oluris from other kingdoms came that's to show you how much these people respect the only to show you how much they hold the only at high esteem then you will wake up one day and then you decide to disrespect this very man that almost a whole nation is respecting when he gave his speech go to youtube you will see the amount of views that man had that's to tell you that all there was no promotion strategy yes people came to view these things because this man is a man that the nation wants is a man that the people want so right now it has remained what this woman want to and entering the palace to confront the only is one of the biggest mistakes she should not even have thought of yes she she, she actually gave it the wrong thought it's one of the biggest biggest mistake that miriam should not have thought of so my people right now this matter you don't they end a point where we go just gradually wait to see how the whole thing will happen because these women they don't know what they are up to again yeah seriously all of them don't know what they are up to as it stands right now because every single thing they are doing is just a very big off that even if someone was going to forgive you the person would definitely find it difficult